Welcome to Nextstar TV, a free resource that uses video tutorials to explain IT topics. My name is Emily, and today's video is Microsoft Word 2010 User Guide Lesson 11 Drop Cap. In this video, I'll be covering the different kind of drop caps and how to create and edit drop caps. Okay, let's get started. So today we're going to talk about drop cap, and what drop cap is, it's an enlarged character at the beginning of your paragraph. So this usually occurs either at the beginning of a chapter or a section or an article, and it's really to get the reader's attention. Okay, so there are two kinds of drop caps. The first is called a dropped drop cap, and that's where you place the letter in a paragraph so that way the rest of the lines of the text are moved over to make room for it. So you're going to look up here at this big D. That's what a dropped drop cap looks because it's pushing these other lines of text over. Now the other type of dropped cap is a in margin drop cap. And what that is is where the drop cap places the letter to the left of the paragraph in the margin so it doesn't interfere with the other text positioning. So you'll see this I is in the margin and your other lines of text are still where they would be normally. So how do you create a drop cap? Well, to create a drop cap, all you need to do is click the paragraph you'd like the drop cap to be in. So you'll click there. Then you want to go up to your Insert tab and come over to Drop Cap. This will pull down a little menu, and here you can either select your dropped drop cap or your in margin drop cap. So for this, we're just going to choose in margin. So once our drop cap has been created, now we have the option to change some of its features. So what you want to do is select your drop cap and come right back up to drop cap pull down menu and click drop cap options. So in here you can change the font of your drop cap. Now your drop cap will start with the font that the text originally had before it was a drop cap, but you're able to easily change it by just pulling down this drop down menu and selecting whichever font you'd like. The next thing that you can change here is you can also change the lines to drop. So this will change the amount of lines affected by your drop cap. As you can see, the default lines to drop is 3. But by changing this number, you can increase the amount of lines affected by your drop cap. So that means that the more lines that you add, the further down into your paragraph this drop cap will drop. For our purposes, we'll just change it to 5. And lastly, you can change the distance from text. So this area will allow you to add space between your drop cap and the rest of your text. So you'll automatically start with zero inches, but if you want this text to be further away from your drop cap, you can just increase the space. And you'll notice all of our changes. We were able to change the font, it is now five lines dropped, and it's also further away from the text. And the one last thing that I want to show you is should you decide that you no longer want this to be a drop cap, all you need to do is come up to drop cap and select none and that'll take your drop cap away. Thank you for joining Nextstar TV for Microsoft Word 2010 User Guide Lesson 11 Drop Cap. If you've enjoyed this video, be sure to visit www.nextstar.tv for other tutorials or subscribe to our YouTube channel at www.youtube.com/nextstar.